Hey guys, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Today we are going to solve this submitting question number 9. That is, you are working with a network that is 172.16.0.0 and would like to have the maximum number of hosts per subnets. This assumes supports for 8 subnets. What subnet mask should you choose? So here you have to find out 8 subnets with maximum number of hosts. And you have to find out what subnet mask should you use for that. We are going to solve this question but before that I would highly recommend you to post this video for a few minutes and try to solve this answer by yourself. After this continue to this tutorial to find out the correct answer. Now let's continue to this tutorial and find out how to solve this submitting question number 9. Let me repeat the question once again. The question is, you are working with a network that is 172.16.0.0 and would like to have the maximum number of hosts per subnets. This assumes supports for 8 subnets. What subnet mask should you use? According to question, the IP address starts from 172. It indicates it is a class B address and the default subnet mask of class B address is 255.255.0.0. .255 this is because the first 16 bits by default are reserved for the network and the remaining last 16 bits are reserved for the host. So if you count the value of all these network bits, you will get the answer 255.255.0.0. According to the question, we need 8 subnets with maximum host. The formula for calculating the number of subnet is very simple that is 2 to the power n where n is equal to number of bits borrowed from the host. Now tell me how many bits should you borrow from the host so that you will get 8 subnets. Let's find out. As we know that by default first 16 bits are reserved for the network for class B network. So we have to borrow bits from the third octet. So if you borrow 1 bit you will get 2 to the power 1 which is equal to 2. If you borrow 2 bits you will get 2 to the power 2 which is equal to 4. If you take 3 bits you will get 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 8. So you have to stop here because we are getting 8 subnets by borrowing 3 bits. Therefore you have to borrow 3 bits to get 8 subnets. Now we are having remaining 13 bits in the host part. Now tell me what is the formula for calculating the number of host. The formula for calculating the number of host is also very simple that is 2 to the power n minus 2 where n is equal to number of remaining host bits and we have subtracted 2 here this is because on every network the first IP address is always reserved for the network and the last IP address is always reserved for the broadcast address. Now tell me how many bits are remaining in the host part there are only 13 bits are remaining in the host part. Therefore, the total number of hosts you will get on each network is 2 to the power 13 minus 2 which is equal to 8190 hosts. Now let's find out the subnet mask. The formula for calculating the subnet mask is also very simple. Just you have to count the value of all the network bits. Here in the first octet, all the 8 bits are reserved for the network. So if you count the value of all of these 8 network bits that is 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 6 plus 2 to the power 5 till 2 to the power 0 the total answer you will get is 255. Same like this if you count the value of all the bits available in second octets you will get the same answer that is 255. In third octet only 3 bits are reserved for the network. So if you count the value of these 3 network bits that is 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 6 plus 2 to the power 5 the total answer you will get is 224 and in the last octet 0 bits are reserved for the network therefore here you will get 0. Now tell me what is the subnet mask? The subnet mask will be 255.255.224.0 so this is the subnet mask where you will get 8 subnets with maximum number of hosts. Now it's time for the surprise test. And our today's question is, you are working with a network that has the network ID of 172.16.0.0 and you are required 25 subnets for your company. And 
an additional 30 for the company that will merge with you within a month each network will contain approximately 600 nodes what subnet mask should you assign so from this question you have to find out the subnet mask try to solve this question and let me know the answer in the comment section below and let's see who is able to solve this question and pass this surprise test hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below and if you're watching this video for the first time on my channel please do subscribe to my channel technical tech and also hit the bell icon with that do not forget to download our networking plus android application for more videos thanks for watching